This is not a fly. If you're offended by non-flies, do not watch this video. But if you like to catch fish, watch till the end. Fly fish food. Okay, again, this is not a fly. We're not going to apologize for it. You're just going to have to tough this one out. Um, so we've been trying to tie the most durable squirmy wormy ever. And it's tough because you tie them and they get hot in your car and they end up all blowing up in your fly box. Well, this new material that Hairline put out called the Mini Squiggle Worm is an awesome product. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the bag. As you can see, it's very stretchy. So we're just going to use that to, to tie uh, a basic worm pattern. And when I say tied, I use that term loosely because this is the thread that we use. It's a 150 denier super invisible spider thread. And we're just going to start out by wrapping up some thread on the bead. As you can see, the bead doesn't really want to stay in, stay in place. Trim off your thread. From here, take your hook and put it in the vise upside down like that. Trim off a piece of squirm, or what is it called, squiggle worm, and just thread about a shank length worth of the worm onto your hook. All right. So once we've got it to that point, this part's very critical, you take some Z-Mint. We're going to coat the hook shank. And from here, you have to make sure that you use the right tool, actually just your hand, and just shove that up onto the bead, and boom. You have a very durable fly that's going to catch a whole bunch of fish. Again, don't get offended. Oh, yeah, hold on. We got to whip finish it. <laughs> anyway, super effective little bug.